Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Aaron here with us today, and Aaron has been a YouTube fan of ours for a long time, and he's seen us heal a lot of people from a lot of different issues. Uh, Aaron's been on dialysis since you were, what, six years old, right? Six years old. And had totally kidney failure, so he's had some problems with his upper back and right shoulder blade area primarily, but we're going to check his entire spine because he's in here to get healthier. So let's check you out here in the mirror first. Now, just relax your arms to your side for a second, Aaron. I'm going to have you flex your head forward and then backwards for me, please, sir. Now, this is Aaron's first adjustment here. Have you been adjusted before anywhere else, Aaron? Okay, so this is his first adjustment anywhere, which we love doing those. I would rather people come here first and get a good experience with chiropractic. We just had an elderly couple. They've been to several different chiropractors throughout the country, and... They were feeling great when they left just a few minutes ago. We were going to video them, but both Renee and all of our assets were busy. Okay, that's good to see. Let's, you see now, when you open your eyes and look in the mirror, mm -hmm. you see how your head's translated to the left a little bit? Wow, yeah. Okay, your right shoulder's a little higher. It looks like your left arm looks longer, but it's not. Okay. You got a little more space over here. No, relax your hands. Okay. Space here than you have here, so your pelvis shifted a little bit to the right. Okay, so Joseph's helping us out with our video this afternoon, so we'll do that now. Let's have you lay on here on your back first. I'm going to do some tests on you first. Okay. Just to reel out any pathology that you may have in your spine. So I'm going to lift your leg straight up, Aaron, okay. just this one. Tell me if this hurts anywhere in your spine or your leg. Right here, Dutch. Okay, is it just tight or is it sharp shooting pain? It's like the sharp shooting pain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it feel better down here? Mm -hmm. Okay, does that hurt anywhere? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's cross this leg here. Okay. If I push down here, does this hurt in your hip or your back anywhere? Uh, right here. In your hip, okay. So he has a positive Fabry Patrick test and also a positive Lasage straight leg, straight leg raise test on the right. Does this side hurt anywhere the same or? Just the same as like right here. Okay, so it's sure. more of a pulling pain? Pulling, yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Is it better down here? Mm-hmm. Is there any pain when I do that? Mm -mm. So Braggart's is negative on both sides. Okay, if I push down this side, does that hurt anywhere? Right here. In the hip? Okay, mm -hmm. so he's got a positive Fabric Patrick on the left as well. Have you lift your head up? Okay. Does this hurt anywhere in your spine? Oh, right here. Definitely. In your neck and upper back? Yeah. Do you get headaches right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's sit you up face that way. Also, he has bad headaches, he told me. Okay, as I push straight down here, does this create any neck pain or upper back pain? Mm -hmm. Okay. We go backwards and to the right. How about this one? Just a little, like right here. And the lower neck and upper back? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about when we go backwards and to the left and down? Same, like right here. Okay. How about when you just tilt your head to the right? Just a little, like right Pinching here. right in here mm -hmm. in the shoulder? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about when I do this? Does that make it better, same, oh, or worse? Like. Worse right there? Yeah. Okay. How about when you go to the left? Does that hurt anywhere? Mm -hmm. How about when I do this? Same, like, like. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are positive shoulder depressor tests now. Turn your head left like you're turning left. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now right. Okay. Perfect. You sleep this way all the time, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm going to push down now. I want you to resist and hold this up. Okay. Good. Same thing here. Hold this up. Good. We're testing his individual nerve roots right now, the muscle strength. So I'm going to pull out, resist. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to pull out and resist. I'm going to pull out oh, and you like resist. resist. Okay. There you go. Okay, okay now I'm going to push in and you resist. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to pull out resist. Good. Now I'm going to push in and resist. Excellent. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to check your reflexes here. Okay. Just let that relax right in my hand there. Got some scar tissue there where you had that surgery, huh? Yeah, my son. <coughs> mm-hmm. Does that hurt? Mm -mm. The scar tissue didn't hurt? Because mm -mm. a lot of times scar tissue is more painful. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can relax your arm there. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Your reflexes are all plus two equal and active. Yep. And just let your ankle relax. Perfect, good. 
Okay, now, Aaron, I just need to see if you can work on your tiptoes about three steps that way, just okay. to make sure you can do that. Perfect. Now turn around and walk back towards me on your heels only. Okay, good. Now stop right there and bend over like you're going to touch the floor and tell me if and when that hurts your back anywhere. Or your yes, shoulder sure blade. Did. Right up in here? Yes, sir. Okay, how about when you come back up? No. Does it hurt coming back it's up? Like right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now if you lock your knees straight and lean backwards, does that hurt your back anywhere? Mm -hmm. I heard it pop there. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Does that hurt down here at all or does uh, it hurt up here? No, not really. Okay. How about when we cross our arms like this and we lean backwards and twist left and if I push down, does that hurt anywhere? Uh -uh. Okay. Don't bend your knees. Does that hurt anywhere? Uh -uh. Okay. Not even in your shoulder blade? Uh -uh. Okay. Good. Let's come back over here on your stomach next. Okay. Come on. Palpate your spine. See what you got to uh, lay on your tummy with your face right down in here for me, please, sir. <coughs> Okay, now as you can see, his left leg is way over half an inch shorter than his right leg. And as I bring it up, it actually gets even. I bet you that tightens up in your lower back right there, doesn't it? A little bit. Yep. So, see, when I brought his legs up, they got even. That tells me his sacroiliac joint's out right there. And I bet you that's a little tender touch that right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, both sides, actually. Yep. L5 is also out. His lumbar spine is flattened out from the normal lordosis is supposed to have. Well, that's already a big issue right there. That's tender right there, too. Mm -hmm. That's the vertebra I was talking about twisting out of place, and then your rib gets misaligned with it, and that's why you feel that pain up underneath your shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. Put your head down just a little bit so I can open these up. Feel this. Yep, your atlas is out right there. That's where your headaches are coming from. Mm. How often are you getting those headaches? Oh, shoot. Every day? Like, majority, basically, they're not really bad, but mostly like every other day. Okay. That's a lot of headaches, though. Mm. Headaches, if you have between one to two a year, is considered within normal limits. More than that is considered abnormal. And see, all those are tender that I'm touching. <laughs> Okay, you ready to start feeling better? Yes, sir. Okay, all you gotta do is breathe for me. Okay. This is first adjustment. I'm gonna adjust his right at side joint first. There we go. And then the left at side joint. And I'm gonna adjust his hip on this side too because his leg is a half an inch short here. There we go, good. Now I'm going to adjust his sacrum, straight, superior, and inferior, right there, right there. Now the area that I'm adjusting right down here now in his upper lumbars and lower thoracic area supplies the kidneys and the adrenal glands, that area there, so... I mean, it's too late to deal with any damaged kidney issues that he had when he was a little boy, but at this point in time still, we can still strengthen up the nerve supplies to his organs, muscles, tissues, and cells so that his body functions at a higher level of function, so it still will improve his overall health and well-being. And get rid of that pain up between your shoulder blades pretty quickly. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I've adjusted the pelvis and the lumbar spine so far. And look at that. It's exactly even. And... It stays in. I bet you that doesn't tighten up as much nope. as the first one. Uh -uh. Good. Okay. So, so I'm gonna put some light massage on here. And then we'll turn you over to Joseph later. It's great having Joseph in here doing massages after the adjustments because it really helps hold the adjustments more effectively because we're working with neuromusculoskeletal so the, the structures involved which is the bones the skeleton the spine the pelvis and the limbs 
and then the muscles and ligaments is the soft tissues that hold the bones together, ligaments hold bones to bone, and muscles move the bones. So when you have chiropractic adjustments and therapeutic massage, mild faster release, all in one visit, that's the ultimate combination of good to get well naturally and stay that way. Instead of having to go to the doctor and get a pill for this and a pill for that and a pill shot for this and a shot for that. I don't know if any of you read the news today, but uh, Glenn Fry's manager came out and uh, said that uh, Glenn Fry actually died because of side effects of taking his prescription rheumatoid arthritis medicine that caused his autoimmune system to weaken and then he had that colon surgery and he died of an infection because his autoimmune system could not withstand that and weakened his body. I'm pretty opinionated about that because I grew up with eagles. I just found that out this morning as we were coming on our way into the office here. Yes, sir. Looky there. Perfect. And is there any pain at all when I do this? Great. Okay, let's turn you on your back now. Okay. And lay your head right in my hands. There you go. Put your hands on your tummy. Okay. That's it. Okay, let me have you. I got it. Let it go. Okay, now tilt your head left and move your right big toe. All right. There. So, see his right leg flares out a little bit, so I'm actually going to internally rotate this and adjust his hip joint. Now, you should have felt that in your <laughs> knee and your back, did you? Okay. Do the same thing on this side. Just relax this. There you go. Good job. Should have felt that one even more so. Yeah. Because you've got a rib misaligned in the back, causing that upper thoracic out. I'm going to check the front out here, too. I bet you that's a little tender right there. A little bit. Yep. Okay, let's slide you down on the table all the way here now, Aaron. Aaron, right that way. A little bit more. There you go. Now lay right on back. I might have you put your arms out like this for me. Okay. I'm going to adjust your uh, shoulders, your AC joints here there and then your sternoclavicular joint which is where the clavicle and the sternum meet there, there. there we go good now let's have you sit up here for me and let's have you face over towards your knee for me please okay. sir and i'm just gonna move your right arm through a range of motion here was that hurting your shoulder blade at all mm -mm, not really Good. Oh, Miss Monet, her shoulders always <laughs> dropped out. Yeah, he, he pays attention to these yes, videos. He does. <laughs> How long you been watching this now? Oh man, at least about two years. Two years now. Yeah, that's so, about when we started it. Actually, yeah. I think you're saying it's, it 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 hurts so good. Hurts so good. <laughs> Just one of my lines. That's right. It'll feel better when it quits hurting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> We want to thank you for subscribing and watching and commenting and sharing our videos. It's people like you that help us grow our channel and people like you too. So we want to thank you for getting your friends to subscribe and comment and share our videos. And We're hoping to help the world with chiropractic care here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson and Aaron. So Aaron, we still got to shoot you. Let's come over and do that. I jumped the gun there, Lou. Yeah, I was just saying, he knows. I got it off my mind. <laughs> Okay. Now let's have you close your eyes again and flex your head forward and backwards for me. Oh, that feels good. That's smoother, isn't it? Yes. Not normal. Okay, so you still got a little forward head posture. So here's your homework, Aaron. You'll pull those shoulders up and like back. That. Flare these hands backwards with your palms forward. Okay. 
And then we want to bring your head straight back. You might want to put your feet a little bit further apart. Oh, okay. There you go. Put okay. your hands and shoulders back for me, though. Okay. There you go. Now look up at the ceiling. You're going to feel a little tap right there. You're going to feel another little tap right there. I'm actually going to get right here in your shoulder blade, too. Go ahead and let me have you flex your head forward for me now. Now see, that pulling that you felt right down here in your shoulder blade, I'm resetting the muscle spindles in here right now. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Try that one more time and see if this feels any smoother. <laughs> Feel like you got the little WD-40 in there? Yeah. All right, back to normal. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now see how you're standing up straighter now? Yeah. Your head, yep. You're taller mm -hmm. and your hands, your hands are at your sides where they're supposed to be. Your mm -hmm. equal distance here. Mm -hmm. That's looking good. Yes. Would you mind sharing with our YouTube fans? Is it as good as it looks on YouTube? It feels even better when you come and do <laughs> it. Like, this is unbelievable and it feels great. I feel great. A lot more better, a lot more loose. Yeah, so, that's great. So this is your first chiropractic adjustment ever, advanced chiropractic release. This is your Houston chiropractor. We'll see you next time.